Let's go ahead and make contact. See what's going on. I can put away my pistol. Oh! Hold on, she's getting out, she's getting out. Oh, she's got a weapon, she's got a weapon! Chest fire, chest fire, chest fire! Oh, no! No! No freaking way! What's going on guys? Iggy Fresh here, back with the new LSPDFR episode. Welcome back guys. Today we have an exciting episode. We're going to be doing a K9 patrol in the city. Some of you guys have requested this episode and it's going to be epic guys. We are going to be using our K9 partner Ace. He's right here with us. And look at my residence over here guys. Pretty sick, huh? We finally made it. Part of being a K9 officer in real life uh, these officers get to take their canine partners home. They practically, well, they really do live with them. And this is the case here, guys. Check out my mansion. We finally made it, guys. We are wearing a canine police uniform, which is pretty sweet, guys. Part of a EUP package. We do have a pistol holster on the hip, guys. And uh, yeah, pretty sweet uh, mansion over here, guys. We have a pool and everything like that, a freaking hot tub over there, freaking amazing views, Ace is living the dream over here. And we're going to be using a brand new vehicle today guys, this one's made by Gump and it's a 4 Taurus, I know a lot of you guys love this one here, check this out, the texture was made by Doug, I'm still using his uh, texture pack on all of my LSPD units, but uh, let's go ahead and open the door for Ace over here, hopefully he doesn't close the door for me like he kept closing the door last time he was a little bit lazy but this time I think he's fine I think he's fine let's get in the vehicle we'll call him ace let's go get in the vehicle dude don't play in traffic come on all right he's getting in he's getting in perfect now check out the lights on this vehicle guys freaking amazing we have all blue lighting we have side runners lights on the push bar it's a slick top which is what i like as well and check out the back we have traffic advisory lights as well as blue lights here pretty awesome looking vehicle guys all around and we also have takedown lights check out the uh, led bar on the push bar there we go we can turn it on but uh it's not that dark today uh in fact it's only about 12 o'clock but uh we're gonna go ahead and tell dispatch that we're available for calls and uh, we're gonna begin today's patrol, guys. And right away, we're getting a call for a dead body. Units respond code two. Okay, we're gonna respond code two for a dead body call. That was quick. As soon as uh, we get on patrol, we're getting this call. So uh, let's head out there and check it out, see what happened there. Maybe we can assist. Probably some kind of a homicide, but we're gonna find out. It's about half a mile away. But yeah, guys, we've been growing quite a bit. Our channel has been uh, doing very well. So I wanted to welcome all the new subscribers. And uh, yeah, thank you all for the support, guys, for liking, sharing the videos. It really helps out the, um, the channel. And I got some awesome ideas for you all for future episodes, something you've never seen before. Uh, we're gonna do those uh, But yeah, stay tuned. I have a new series coming as well and uh, yeah Lots of exciting things are happening and will happen on this channel So just stay tuned guys stay tuned especially this weekend I'm gonna try and get some something creative for you guys hope you guys enjoy it But all right, we're pulling up on location right now Is there going to be a dead body inside of this vehicle? Alright, dispatch, we are on location. Um, yeah, appears like uh, this lady is, might be dead. Alright, let's pull her out. We're going to pull her out. Uh, okay, dispatch, can we get EMS out here? Alright, what is this person doing here? Come on, drive. dude. Come on, dude. Civilian. What are you Incident doing? Rockford Hills Fire Department All right, we have ambulance coming. Hills. You know what What I'm going to do? I'm going to move my vehicle. That's something new. And I'm going to move her vehicle as well. All right, we're going to park right here for right now. 
We have EMS coming, so no worries. I do want to place a couple of barriers here so nobody uh, drives over her body here. Alright, there we go. There we go. We're going to do everything by the book today, guys. Ooh, that's a nice car. Whoop, 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 whoop. Alright, hopefully nobody uh, runs her over. Let me put another barrier actually on this side. Whoa, stop running. Stop running, dude. Alright, here we go. Boom, another barrier. We have EMS coming. Dude, you can drive around. You're fine. You see a dead body? Yeah. Alright, I wonder what happened. Let me search her vehicle. No idea. How do people just die in their car, guys? How does this happen? Anyways, we have paramedics responding. I can hear the siren increasing. Alright, let's check the passenger side. Maybe we'll find drugs. Maybe she's oh, maybe she over uh, overdose on drugs. Nothing of interest. Nothing of interest. A Zippo lighter. Well, a Zippo lighter could be used to uh, I don't know, do some nasty uh, drugs. Who knows? All right. Anyways, let's uh, also go ahead and call the tow truck. We'll get the vehicle out of here. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we're going to have to impound the vehicle for right now. We'll do some more searching on it. Hopefully, we'll find the reason why this person just died. Okay, thanks for coming, dude. Thank you. All right, and there we go. We got the fire truck. Paramedics arriving on scene. And, uh, guys, we're going to use Ace today. Actually, we can use him to... Uh, we can actually use him to sniff out cars and things like that. I think we can only do it during traffic stops, so I couldn't have done it this time. But we got the ambulance here as well. Let's see if she really died. Maybe she's okay. But either way, Ace is pretty cool, guys. He can sniff out cars and he can protect us as well. So, uh, didn't get here oh in time. man. Didn't get here in time. Whoops. All right. Well, thank you for coming, guys. We'll need the corner out here. We are code four. All right. Just call for the corner unit to come over and pick up the body for us. All right, buddy. You can uh, you can go. You can go. Your your crew is waiting for you. Can I cancel EMS? I think it's already done. All right. There we go. Corner is on scene. Thank you guys. We're gonna pick up the body for us and uh, we should be all set. Should be all set, guys. Yeah, I think we're gonna stick around Vinewood Hills today for today's episode. Don't typically patrol over here, but figured why not. Okay, alright. They just picked up the body. Let's open up the road. Boom. Damn fool. <laughs> he just called me a fool. <laughs> alright, anyways. We are code 4 here. Let's get back on patrol uh, and see what else we can get into. Alright, there we go. We are good here. Citizens report a vicious animal on the loose. Guys, we're getting a call for an animal attack. We're gonna respond code 3 to this one. We are over by the hill, so uh, we could have some uh, mountain lions over here. Guys, get out of here. Get out of here. Ace, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, man. Oh, I don't have a shotgun. I only have my combat pistol. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Shots fired. Oh, my gosh. Ace. Ace. Ace, watch out. Watch out, dude. Ace is not doing anything. Oh, my gosh. We just... All units. We just no put down this required. mountain line. I thought maybe Ace was going to try and protect us, but no. Ace is not even looking at the mountain line. What the hell, dude? All right. Let me go ahead and uh, call the uh, the vet out here. All right. Animals injured. Vet is in route. What happened to all these people? Dispatch calling unit Man. Okay, Winchester. there we go. We got the we vet coming up. Perfect. On. North Conquer Avenue. We're getting a call for traffic stop backup that's being requested. So Ace, hop on in. Come on, let's go. Copy that. Moving right 
Alright. The vet's gonna pick up the uh, the mountain lion for us, or just drive off. But uh, we gotta go. We're gonna respond code 2 to this call, guys. It's only about 0.4 miles away. They are requesting our K9 unit, so uh, could be a uh, could be perhaps a drunk driver or uh, a driver under the influence. Who knows? Under the influence of drugs, I mean, not drinking. So uh, perhaps they requested the K9 unit for a reason. So we're gonna find out. All right, pulling up now. It's gonna be on the left-hand side here. There we go. Okay. Let's just uh, do a quick U-turn over here. All right. Uh, gonna do a U-turn over here. Don't move, buddy. All right. Here we go. All right. I'm with the officer now. Let's go ahead and make contact. See what's going on. I can put away my pistol. Oh, hold on. She's getting out. She's getting out. Oh, she's got a weapon! She's got a weapon! Chest fire! Chest fire! Chest fire! Oh no! No! No freaking way! No! 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 Come on! Come on! Get cover! Get cover! 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 Where is she? Shots fired! I need backup! I need backup! Woo! This is crazy! Come on! We got her! We got her! Come on! Oh my gosh! She's got a fully automatic weapon! I got her! I got her! Headshot! Headshot! Ooh, look at that. We just got more backup units. Where's this guy going? Dude, hold on. Hold on. This was an absolute mayhem of a traffic stop. We need the EMS out here. Alright, just picked up her weapon here. Holy crap. Alright, let's play some barriers over here. Man, did not expect that at all. All right, there we go. Nobody's gonna drive over her now. I wonder why. Let me go ahead and move this vehicle. Actually, I wonder why they requested for backup. I don't know. Maybe she's got a warrant or something. Whoops, not my vehicle. <laughs> Let me go ahead and search this uh, this Porsche or this Comet too. We'll see if we find anything illegal. I bet you guys should have had a warrant or something like that. That tends to happen a lot. Alright, found a hammer. An iFruit 70 and nothing else. Okay, alright. We're gonna go ahead and uh, call for a tow truck out here. Pick up this vehicle. I think we have a tow truck right behind us. Yeah, they're coming. No worries. And we'll tow this vehicle too. I don't know what happened with this vehicle or with this driver but man I got ran over this lady came out without questions asked pulled out her freaking automatic rifle started shooting at us right away alright dude you can go we're done here we are code 4 Alright, you know what? I'm gonna move my vehicle. There we go. Her oh, whoop, whoop. Her vehicle was picked up just now. Alright, this guy will not shut off his siren. Like, what the hell? Alright, let me just move my vehicle. There we go. We got EMS on scene. Oh, no, 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 no! Dude! Dude! Alright, let me back up a little bit. There we go. Let's see if they can revive her. But yeah, as soon as we got here, she got out. Good thing I pulled out my pistol because I just had a bad feeling. When this happens, you guys, you guys know something, something's about to go down. She pulled out her fully automatic rifle, started shooting at us, and actually, I need the med kit too. I need the med kit. You have a med kit for me? I almost got killed. Well, not almost, but. Yeah. I guess they they don't have a freaking med kit for us. All right, we're gonna call for the coroner out here. You're obstructing the law. All right, dude, relax, okay? Relax. Coroner is coming to pick up her body. 
And, uh, yeah, we couldn't even use Ace, actually. It's a good thing he sat in the car during the shootout. Alright. What is this guy doing? Get out of here. We got the coroner on scene. We have the sheriff checking out this situation. And, uh, we are all set here. We're just gonna leave. There we go. Alright, thanks for coming up. Thanks for coming over, guys, but we are done here. Let's get out of here. Alright, guys, so we are over here with Ace. Taking a quick break, but still keeping an eye out on the road over here. Making sure there's no drunk drivers, there's no impaired drivers, nothing like that. But uh, check out the view over here, guys. Pretty freaking awesome. We got some tennis courts over there. That's pretty cool. That's a nice mansion. Must be super expensive. Anyways, guys. Every now and then, you gotta take a break with your canine partner. Just gotta get some fresh air. But I don't know if I even showed you the cage. There's a legit cage on the inside for our canine partner. Pretty awesome looking vehicle, made by Gump, guys. But, uh, yeah, let's just check out the, uh, the traffic over here. This is like a roundabout, like a cul-de-sac type of a thing. So, there's not gonna be, uh, too many drivers here. But we're still looking out for traffic offenses and things like that. Whoop, that guy just hopped the curb there really quick. Let's go. Let's go, Ace. We gotta catch up to him. We gotta catch up to him. He might be uh, intoxicated. Alright, let me actually go code 3 before uh, we lose him. There you go. There we go. He's right there. Try and make a traffic stop right here. Alright, buddy, pull over. Pull over to the side for me. Keep going, keep going to the side of the road, buddy. Keep going, keep going straight now. And uh, we're gonna approach the driver actually. Uh, a little bit more. We're on a slight incline. Alright, this is fine. This is fine right there. Let me get behind them. We'll see what's going on with this guy. There we go. This is fine. Alright, we're gonna open up our computer really quick. Alright, vehicle database is exemplar. Belongs to Jack Mitchell, 42 years of age. Everything's valid, everything checks out. Let's go ahead and approach him and let's see if he's been drinking today. How's it going, Officer Iggy Fresh? Uh, reason for the stop is you kind of ran over the curb back there. Uh, can we see your driver's license, proof of insurance, registration, all that good stuff? This is Jack Mitchell. Well, uh, okay, Jack, hang on tight for me. I'll be right back. Alright, I do want to run his name one more time make sure he doesn't have any warrants. We're going to do it over here really quick. This is Jack Mitchell. We'll see what comes back. License is valid, no active warrants. Alright, let's go ahead and just talk to him. We'll question him if he's been drinking, if he's got anything illegal in the vehicle, any drugs, anything like that. Alright, thank you for waiting. Have you been drinking today? He's saying only one. Have you taken any drugs recently? No, why? Okay, alright. Yeah, got anything illegal in your vehicle? No, why? Alright, so he doesn't want us searching his vehicle, but first and foremost, let's go ahead and breathalyze him. He did say that he had one drink today, so I want to make sure he's okay to drive. Okay, he's got no alcohol in his blood. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so uh, since you don't want us... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Wow, we got a helicopter in the pursuit right there? That's crazy. Alright, since you don't want us searching your vehicle, that was nuts, guys. Alright, 
Since you don't want to search in your vehicle, I'm going to use my canine partner to sniff out your vehicle. If he alerts me for any drugs or anything like that, uh, we will have probable cause to search your vehicle. Alright, Ace, come out here. Come out here. Alright, sniff this vehicle, buddy. Come on. There we go. K9 smelled scent of drugs. Look at the K9 guys. So awesome. All right. All right. All right, Ace, get back in the vehicle. Get back in the vehicle for me. Hop in, buddy. Hop in. Let's go. All right. We definitely smelled drugs. Well, not we, but my K9 partner definitely smelled drugs in the vehicle. So, um we're gonna ask the driver to step out. We'll temporarily detain him until we find out more. Uh, okay, so here we go. All right, so my canine officer did indicate that there's drugs in the vehicle. Can you step out of the vehicle for me? All right, buddy. You're not being arrested, but you're being detained for right now. Okay? Like I said, we're just gonna do a search on your uh your vehicle over here all right let's actually let's place him in front of my vehicle here all right don't you move buddy okay have a seat for me all right let's go ahead and search his vehicle if he's got drugs he's going to jail because he definitely lied to us by saying he doesn't have any drugs in there all right let's check the passenger side Okay, found marijuana in the passenger side, uh, hatchet, and proposition to await brochure, a stress ball, and a laptop. I know a lot of you guys say, oh, marijuana is legal, legal, you know, it's legal, blah, 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 but not if he's got like 20 pounds of marijuana, right? So we're gonna, we're gonna assume that he's got a lot of marijuana and that he's selling it illegally so we're gonna we're gonna take him to jail today anyways and he lied to us he lied to us saying he doesn't have anything illegal so let's go ahead and impound his vehicle for right now all right dispatch we need the tow truck out here all right buddy so you're gonna be going to jail today for lying to a police officer as well as possession all right let's go ahead and search him see if he's got anything else found a silencer okay a battery pack and a passport well he's not gonna need it you're not gonna need it in jail buddy all right dispatch can we get a transport unit out here we can't transport anybody in our vehicle we don't have a back seat and obviously we have ace in the back there so hey 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 all right he's gonna pick him up and uh, take him to jail for us thank you officer for coming out yeah. Alright guys And on this note I'm going to end today's episode Let me know in the comment section down below If you guys enjoyed it If you did make sure to smash that like button And don't forget to like Share and subscribe And I'll see you guys in the next video Peace out